Hi, my name is Amedeo Beretta and the channel is Animation Pandemic. One of my students is working with the Dawn Rake. He has changed the geometry of the character a little bit. In the meantime, a new version of the Dawn Rig came out and now he has to bring that geometry back onto the new rig. So he has to transfer the skins over. So let's see how that's done. This is the new version of the Dawn Rig we are looking at right here. As a first thing, we need the new geometry we want to attach to this rig. And you can either import it or reference it. In my case, I'm going to go create reference and I'm going to grab the old rig so that I can take the geometry right from where it was. So there you go. And we have the new rig in the scene. If I move the master around, I'm pretty sure there will be two characters on top of each other. The geometry on the left, this one, is the geometry we need to attach to the new version of Dawn Rig. So that's the problem we want to solve. I want to duplicate this geometry. Sometimes when you duplicate geometry from a referenced item, you will find you lose some of the shaders, especially if you assign them to the faces. Usually you don't want to assign shaders straight to the faces. There are too many things that can go wrong in there. So maybe you can we can try duplicating that again. There you go. And a new duplicate solves the problem there. So I will delete the old duplicate. The issue you're going to encounter when you will finally remove the reference of the old rig that we don't need any longer is that the shader is which is applied to this geometry is actually referenced so the moment you will unreference the rig everything will turn green and you will lose the shader if you right click on the geometry and go material attributes it will be clear you see that in here we have the shader that belongs to the namespace of the rig we referenced so we really need this shader to be into our scene so for now i will just delete the history on this new geometry i duplicated so that there's nothing left on it so I will right click on the geometry, go material attributes, find my material, select my material, go into the hyper shade. And in there, if you press F, that's the material we have there, right? So if I go under edit and I go duplicate shading network, I have a brand new material, this guy in here, you know, it's new and it doesn't belong to the reference because there's no namespace there. And I'm going to make sure the geometry is selected and I'm going to assign the new material to that selection. The problem there is that we lost the material of the shoes because of course it was assigned to faces. So you have to do the same thing for the shoes. Duplicate get the material and assign the shoes material to the faces. Now that we have our geometry in there, we want to make sure that both rigs are sitting on top of one another. And we're going to keep the old rig just for reference purposes, but really we are not going to use it much. I'm going to make sure I can only select curves in the viewport and I'm going to set a bunch of keys on the leg just so that I can deform it. And as I play with the weights, I will be able to see the deformation there. So please notice that I drag the selection so I can operate both controllers from both rigs at the same time. So first I will move the leg up then I will rotate the foot I'm rotating the foot because that's the area that needs our attention right and for double safety I will also move an arm just to make sure that the skinning works also for the upper part of the body as it stands now you will find the, the geometry is not following along that's expected Wait, let's go back to one and now we need to transfer the weight of this geometry we see here to the new geometry that we have underneath first of all identify the right geometry you want to employ if you grab the the V control on the dawn shader you can choose the display mode then that triggers the, vis the visibility for a bunch of other geometries much depends on the type of geometry you render at this stage the student is rendering probably the texture if i remember well so we'll go under texture it will become black but i don't care about that and if i go into the rig group i find the geo group and you see that the tx geo is the group that contains the geometry there now i need to transfer the weights of this geometry to the new geometry so how i go about it so i will need a tool named ng skin tools which you can find at ngskintools.com it's for free for non-commercial use. I will install it in Maya. I don't do it here. It's just very easy to install it. Just follow the instructions. And now I have it here in the shelf. You see, I can open it up. First of all, let's go find the suit there. And we initialize the skinning layers. That means we can now work with skinning with this tool. And I'm going to grab the new suit, which I'm going to rename new suit. So I have to find a way now to attach this new geometry to the same joints that, that are driving the old one. That should be easy enough, except the Dawn Rig is particular. If you look down here in the input section of the channel box, there is no skin cluster there, but there should be. It's down to the way the rig was built. I, to see the joints which are affecting the old geometry, you only need to select the old geometry. You go under Windows, Node Editor, and in there you click on these two triangles within the square and that will graph out all the connections. And you see there's plenty of nodes in there. It might be pretty difficult to find out which thing is what, but normally you find, you see these icons with these little three blue spheres and circles and those triangles. So they are the joints driving the geometry. If you follow the output connections to the right, you will find the skinning cluster joint, which is usually something you can find already in the channel box, but not in this case, not on this particular rig. For most rigs, you will find that by just selecting that geometry and down here you will find in the channel box in this area you will find 
the, the skin cluster. In here, with this particular rig, you don't. So now the problem is that we have the skin cluster for the suit, it becomes very difficult to select all the joints, or rather it takes time. So what you can do in here is you go under Show, Objects, and you go under Joints. And now you're only seeing the joints in there. You can select all of the joints that you see on screen. Be careful because these violet nodes are actually not joints, they are unit conversion nodes, so do not select them. You can go under Create, Set, quick select set and I call this thing suit JNT it's the joints that drives the suit and I add it to the shelf I don't know why I might put the icon down there that's crazy but hey that's the way it is if I click out and I deselect everything and I click on this icon you see that I reselect the joints which is good because now I can select the joints once more select the new suit and go under the rigging tool set skin bind skin options and with this method I'm connecting the new geometry to the old joints I'm going to reset the bind skin options and I'm going to click on bind skin. Now, if I move the timeline, you will see that we get the new shape to the form and be moved by the old joints, but you see that the deformation isn't quite the same. Now, another thing I really want to do is to make sure that all the joints are there. Sometimes when you bind the skin with default attributes, some of the joints do not get an influence at all in my experience. So what I will do is I will select the joints again, the new suit again, and under skin, I will make sure I will go under edit influences, add influence. This way, even joints that for whatever reason were not connected to the geometry, they will be connected. Now, what I want to do is transfer the old weights. So I will go onto the new suit, grab the new suit, and I initialize skinning layers on NG skin tools. And I'm going to grab the old suit, add the new suit to the selection, go tools, transfer weights. And I'm going to employ as a method, the closest point on surface. Because the geometries are different, the vertex ID or the U space won't work. So this will be our best bet. I click on done. And now if I did everything correctly, you see that the deformation is quite all right already, except for the foot. If you see the foot doesn't really deform the same way. This is due to the fact that the old foot in there has a different geometry than the new foot down here. So that's going to be a bit of an issue. That's hopefully going to be easy. Now, however, if I select the new geometry, you see that there are two weight layers there, which we don't really need anymore. So I can go on the top one, go layers, merge layer down so that I have a single layer and I will rename this layer suit. And the fact that there are layers tells us also something else that maybe we can mix and match some layers there and we can paint masks and so forth like we do in Photoshop, for instance. So that's an option. So you see that the shoe is not deforming the way it should. I mean, the old shoe is deforming right, but the new one isn't. So to transfer the weight, we just need to select the old shoe, initialize skinning layers, and now we can work with weights and then select the shoe, add the new suit to the selection. I'll do this in T-Pose and go tools, transfer weights, and I will keep existing layers and hit done. Now, you see that the effect is not quite what we wanted, but if you think of it, the left foot is working all right, it's working perfectly. It's just the, the rest of the body now isn't working anymore, which is a bummer, but that's not a big deal. If you select the new suit geometry, you will find out that the new suit geometry has two layers. One is named base weights, which is the new shoe skins that we imported and one is the suit the old one if you right click on the base weights and you toggle layer to off you see, you'll see that the skinning will look exactly like before so the body works the foot doesn't so i will rename these guys to shoes or rather just shoe you double click on the layer and you rename it and i will switch it on in here we can tell maya to ignore the skinning from the shoe layer for the rest of the body and only use the one which happens down there on the foot. That's done through masking. If you grab the shoe layer, you see there's a layer mask in there. In reality, all we need is to make sure the layer does not affect anything apart from the foot. So we can set the operation to replace the value to zero down here. We can hit flood. And now the deformation will go on like before with the foot not working. In fact, by, by masking the whole layer, we essentially made the layer useless. However, that means that now we can select the new suit, go isolate select and only see the suit and we can select the layer mask, paint and now we can add influence. We can add, I don't know, dot five or something like that as a value. There you go. And now I can paint. Sometimes in Maya 2020, I find that the brush size disappears. In which case, what I do is I click onto a joint and go back to the layer mask and make sure I clicked on paint and the paint brush usually reappears. So I'm going to paint the influences on the foot in here very, very quickly. And then I'm going to use a smooth brush to just smooth the influence. It shouldn't change much anyway. Go back to zero to make sure that looks like 
something that makes sense. You see, I lost the brush now. So I will click on a joint back to the layer mask and now I get the brush back. If I go back and move the timeline, you will see that the foot is behaving properly and it's lining up perfectly with the old brick and the the skin itself is working as well. So now we got the best of both worlds. If you think of it, we didn't fix the right foot. You see it's still all over the place there. So we need to do something about that, but that's going to be easy if you think of it. If you grab the new suit, you can first of all merge layer down so that we have a single a skin weight there, but I guess you can also mirror single layers and you can go under mirror in here, in the mirror direction, you set the direction from positive X, this is positive X, the, the side we actually did, to negative X. So plus X to minus X. I prefer to mirror on, in a T-pose, but I think NG Skin Tools lets you mirror anywhere you want. And I click on mirror weights, and now you see feet and suit work. At this stage, I no longer need the rig I took the geometry from, so I can just go file, reference editor, and I will remove the reference there. I will probably lose the shader of the shoes because remember I didn't duplicate it at the beginning, but if you duplicated it, as I suggested, you won't lose it. There you go. And now if you think of it, this new suit can go into the suit text group and all of these, the old shoes and the old suit can just go. And now we successfully migrated skin weights from one geometry to another. Remember to grab all the controls and make sure there are no keys in there. You're in the T-pose. You will save this rig. You can reference this rig and everything will work just fine. As a side note, if you added this geometry to a render layer in a render scene, unless you name the geometry the same way or use some naming convention, you will have to re-add that geometry to the render layer. That's one thing you have to be aware of. So I hope you found this useful and have fun. Not for me, more for me, and you